It was the summer of 1998, in a small, sleepy town tucked away between vast stretches of forest. Everyone knew everyone, and the kind of trouble that big cities faced never seemed to touch this place. That is, until one warm evening in mid-July, when young Tommy Granger vanished. Tommy was eight years old. A quiet boy with a love for collecting bugs and rocks, he spent most of his time exploring the dense woods behind his house. His mother, Mrs. Granger, always told him to stay close to the house, but Tommy, like any adventurous child, often wandered a little too far. But he always came back. That evening, however, he didn't. At first, Mrs. Granger thought nothing of it. Boys lose track of time, and Tommy knew the woods like the back of his hand. But as the sun dipped below the horizon and the woods grew darker, worry began to gnaw at her. By nightfall, panic had set in. She called the neighbors, who gathered quickly, flashlights in hand, and began to search the woods. The forest had always felt alive to the townspeople, but that night, something felt different. The air was thick and oppressive, as if the trees themselves were hiding a secret. As they called out Tommy's name, their voices seemed to be swallowed by the silence, disappearing into the blackness between the trees. Hours passed, but there was no trace of the boy, no footprints, no clothes, nothing. By morning, the search had expanded. Police were called in, and they scoured the woods with dogs, drones, and helicopters. Still, Tommy was nowhere to be found. As days turned into weeks, whispers of something more sinister began to circulate in the town. Older residents, ones who had lived there long before the Grangers arrived, started recalling strange stories. Tales of children disappearing in those same woods, never to be seen again. Some spoke of a shadow that moved between the trees, a presence that only came out when the sun went down. Mrs. Granger refused to believe any of it. She stayed close to the edge of the forest every day, calling for Tommy, waiting for him to return. Her voice grew hoarse, her body thinner, but she never gave up. One night, three weeks after Tommy's disappearance, something strange happened. Mrs. Granger was sitting on her porch, staring out into the dark woods when she heard it, a faint rustling in the trees, followed by a soft voice. Mom? Her heart leaped into her throat. It was Tommy's voice. She ran toward the woods, flashlight in hand, her heart pounding in her chest. The voice grew louder, clearer. Mom, help me. She pushed through the branches and undergrowth, deeper into the woods than she'd ever dared to go. The voice was so close now, but something about it was off. It was Tommy's voice but flat, as though something was mimicking him. Mom, I'm here. Her flashlight flickered, casting strange shadows on the trees. And then she saw it, a small figure standing in a clearing, its back to her, Tommy. Relief washed over her and she rushed forward, but stopped dead in her tracks as a chilling sensation crept up her spine. Something wasn't right. Tommy, she whispered. The figure turned slowly and as the beam of her flashlight fell on its face, Mrs. Granger's breath caught in her throat. It was Tommy, but it wasn't. His eyes were empty, hollow, and his skin was pale as death. He stared at her, unblinking, his mouth slightly open as if trying to speak but unable to form the words. Mom, come with me. The voice was distorted now, layered with something deep and inhuman. Come with me. Mrs. Granger stumbled backward, dropping her flashlight. As she fumbled in the dark, the thing that looked like Tommy took a step forward, and then another. She turned and ran, her feet barely touching the ground as she crashed through the woods, branches tearing at her skin. She didn't stop running until she reached her house. She locked the door behind her, collapsing on the floor, gasping for breath. The next morning, when the police came to check on her, she could barely speak. She told them everything, but they didn't believe her. No one did. And Tommy, he was never found.